Welcome back to another Astro video. This time we're shooting the stars in Pro Raw on the iPhone 12 Pro Max and in Raw on the Xperia 1 Mark II. Can the iPhone beat the Xperia in a suburban sky? Let's find out. I've made a few videos on how the Xperia 1 Mark II can take impressive astro images in light polluted skies. The trick is to shoot in RAW and remove the light pollution in the edit. Now with the 12 Pro Max, we can shoot Pro RAW combined with night mode, allowing it to capture a significant amount of light. On a tripod, we can push it to the absolute max of a 30 second shot. But is this enough to beat the Xperia? Let's see. Also, when I say light polluted sky, what I mean is a suburban sky that's about a five or a six on the light pollution scale. And you can use a handy light pollution map like this one to see what the light pollution is like where you live. Keep in mind that a darker sky is going to give the best results, but many of us don't live near national forests. And this is a 33 megabyte ProRAW file. We can see quite a few stars up here and some trees at the bottom for our foreground. And you'll notice that the trees actually have a little glow to them, and that's because of a street light hitting them from the right here. And also keep a close eye on these trees as uh, they look quite a bit different with the Sony image. So let's go ahead and make the edits. We'll start off by changing the profile to the Apple one, which already makes a massive difference. And then we'll make some other tweaks to get the histogram to move away from the left a little bit. And we'll come down to the magic sliders of the haze that's really gonna cut through this light pollution and some clarity as well to bring out the stars. And there we go. I mean, this is just amazing. Look at how many stars we can see here. Here's the before, and here's the after. So now let's move over to the Xperia image and see how that compares. And this was a 15 second exposure taken with Photo Pro. Now you can see this is quite a bit brighter. I mean, it's very bright. But there's a lot of data here, so let's go ahead and start making some of the edits. You can see as I bring the exposure down, look at the stars come out. I'm almost at negative three here, and it still looks pretty amazing. You'll also notice the trees at the bottom here. See how there's actually some green coming out of this tree? And we'll take a closer look when we compare the two images, but I'm already noticing some color differences here. So let's go ahead and make the remaining edits. And you can see how dehaze really has a massive impact on the Xperia image. And there we go, take a look at this. We have a nice blue sky with quite a few stars. And then we have nice colors coming from these trees at the bottom. We see some nice bright yellow as well as some green coming out of this tree down here. And so again, here's the before and here's the after. Quite a bit more dramatic with the Xperia image than what we saw with the Pro Raw. Side by side, you'll immediately notice some major differences. First, with the color. The iPhone gave us a grayish black sky versus the Xperia gave us a blue sky. And as we look closer, we'll notice that the iPhone did pick up more stars than the Xperia did. And as we come down to the trees, you'll notice a pretty big difference. You'll see that the iPhone wasn't able to pick up the green color that we see in the Xperia image. So in summary, both phones are quite powerful when it comes to astrophotography. As we saw in the RAW battle video, the Xperia still excels at picking up colors, while the iPhone was able to pick up more detail in the stars. So a pretty interesting result in the end. I hope you found this video helpful. If you did, please leave a like. And if you're new to the community, consider subscribing. Thanks again for watching, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.